The Continental Restaurant Week is going to be in May, which is one of the best times. It's when the market is completely full of spring produce. You can spend a year here eating out every night and have a different experience every single night. We have that level of quality that people expect when they come here, and we try and exceed that every time. Um, the food's all about love. The little things are what people remember. And, you know, things like remembering what someone likes, doesn't like. If you head to New York, if you're going to Broadway, the show starts right here. When I was a little kid, I used to worry a lot from the time I was like seven or eight. That's how I got this deep line here in my forehead from worrying. Before my dad died, he used to say to me, Anderson, enjoy, enjoy. I'm 44 now, I'm blind as a bat, I've had to start wearing glasses. I want to enjoy more, I want to live more, laugh more, and get more out of life. And I want other people to as well. That's why I'm starting a new daytime talk show this September. West 4th is the number one park for everything. Everybody comes here just to watch the cage. If you want to play basketball, if you want to play against the best, this is where you, you come. They call it the cage where the women are able to showcase their talent. I was rung up here by this guy named Junior. I started coming up here about 83. I said, yo, you want to go play some ball? I said, yeah, I don't mind. Got in the car, we came up here. When we got on, we won about five games. You know, these are top-notch players going at each other. And then after a while, he stopped coming. I came by myself. I took it from there. And the reputation is, is crazy. It's crazy. I get emails all the time from girls from out of state who want to come here and play. But they come from California just to play a couple of games and they go back home. Just to say that they played at West Fork. You go anywhere in the world, you know about West Fork Street. This film documents four artists traveling through China using art as the medium for their communications. Then at the end they do an amazing exhibition of their work. My name is James Powderly. I'm working on a project called uh, the Eye Rider. Basically, it's a, an eye tracking system. We point it at the eye um, to track the movement of the pupil, and then we translate that uh, into commands in a drawing interface. The Eye Rider was the tool that allowed for Tony to draw again. It liberated him from the confines of this illness. Tony was a legendary. LA graffiti artist who innovated the scene there. Tony was diagnosed I think in 2002 with uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. Five of us ended up going out to LA 
in order to try to develop with Tony this prototype called the, the iRider. Here I am in, in beautiful Mumbai with the mission to create a version of the LA iRider using only parts that I can find here locally in Mumbai. Electrical tape, yeah. individual yeah. screwdrivers, jigo ties, heavier gauge iron wire, smaller wire cutters. I think that's it. Thank you. Patel's General Hardware. This one's Vista compatible. We got all the parts for the Mumbai Rider. And I'm gonna see if I can uh, put it together now. First I'm gonna knock out these lenses and these glasses. As cool as they are, we don't need them. Hello again everyone, I'm Bob Locke, world record-setting legend and analyst. Today we're here to recount the glory that was Prius Records. It broadcast live to the world the morning of March 30th, 2011. Our goal was to set as many URDB records as possible in and around the Toyota Prius family. Our Universal Records database officials were as discerning as ever and we even ran out of beef jerky at one point. Now this seems like it would be very easy. This is probably something most people under 20 have never even seen before. Let's get down. <laughs> our breathtakingly attractive anchors and our correspondents on the floor gave viewers the play-by-play while our qualified and quirky record-setting teams gave it their all in triumph and despair. But these obstacles were no match for our cunning record-setting competitors. In 20 hours of mayhem, we set the record for setting the most world records at a staggering 206. For those of you who don't have the imprint of Prius Records eternally etched into your minds, here's just a smattering of the amazing records set during the two days. Largest game of tug of war through a Prius. Most animals grazing around a Prius. Fastest time to knit a scarf and wrap it around an iguana in a Prius. And fastest time for a three-piece band to set up in a Prius. The entertainment was almost too much to take, but remember everyone, this is all just the beginning. Being that URDB world records live on forever, so does the competition. Get to urdb.org slash Prius Records to take your shot at internet fame. Thank you again for the opportunity to be your host for both Prius Records and this video. This is Bob the Lock Lock, signing off.